Greetings, folks, and welcome back to Space Engineers. Uh, this wonderful little game where it's all about building things in space. Yay. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I just ate, and so I'm, like, getting set up from that. So, anyway, we are back, and we are going to do some more construction. I am probably going to be gutting this section and turning that into something, since we just did something awesome over here. I mean, shoot, I live here. And I may also be going downstairs and doing some stuff in this area. Because it's kind of weird having a ramp that goes off into literally nothing. So we, we're going to do that. But I really kind of don't have a clue what I'm doing. I did just get back from watching some videos of somebody else who was doing Space Engineer. Unfortunately, the YouTuber's name escapes me right now, but if I can find his channel again, I will post a link in the description. Uh, anyway, his work was absolutely amazing, and to be honest, I kind of feel like mine, though it looks nice, fall short somehow. So, my goal is to kind of play around, at least initially, uh, with some architectural designs and, and just see what can happen. And maybe, like, these really cool interiors, maybe I'll have some even cooler ones. I don't know. That sounds kind of fun. But anyways, that aside, the other thing I want to talk about is if I'm going to be doing a series out of this, and I really didn't plan to. Oh, I'll get to that in a second. Spoiler. Uh, if I'm going to be doing a series of this, uh, it would be kind of cool if there was some sort of an objective. And we all know the domination of Tsar Hootie. He just must own everything. So I'll probably take it in that direction. Uh, already, I mean, I'm going to say this thing's been kind of designed in the back of my head to be a battle station, though it'll probably also have ore processing and cargo capabilities as well. Uh, I really want to put a lot of guns and turrets on it, so we'll see what happens with that. But uh, yeah, we are going to build basically a fleet, if I can, or at least a giant force. And I don't know how long this is going to continue, because this game is still on alpha, and when the game finally gets released, things may change quite a bit. In fact, uh, the game was recently patched. I don't know when, I'm guessing today. So I don't know what they've changed. That'll be interesting. But one of the things is, it would be really, really fun to actually have something worth fighting for. And to me, the only way that that seems to work is if there's either NPCs or other players who are against us. So I would like to be able to take what I'm working on and put it into multiplayer. I don't know how feasible that's going to be. If it's not, I'm probably going to abruptly stop this series and restart another one where I can actually fight and do really awesome stuff. So we'll see where that goes. But anyways, for now... Hope you guys have enjoyed the station so far. I certainly have. I'm having a blast building it. This game takes up hours of your time, and you don't even realize it. You're just having fun. So uh, I, I'm going to cut the video right here, and when I'm back, hopefully I'll have some really cool stuff going on. So I'll see you in a bit, guys. Okay, folks, I'm back with a quickie, just to kind of give an idea of what's going on here. Uh, first off, well, actually, I've modified the landing pad substantially, and I think it looks pretty cool. I'm very happy with it. Uh, I modified the ground. I basically removed the old hull plating and replaced it with nicer interior plating, which has a much better level of detail. I also added these cool little, uh, what do you call them, little fancy things? I think they call them short cover or something like that. But, uh, I think they look, just look kind of cool like that, so that's where they are. And finally, I've added lighting all the way around it, and I think that looks pretty neat, too. Uh, kind of gives it more of a feeling of a landing pad, which is sort of what I'm after. So I'm going to go ahead and dock this, because I had to move it. And I'll show you what this is real quick, too, because I told you guys about it, and then I promptly left. And before I end the video, I'll also show you what I did to the dropship, which got retrofitted to something not a dropship. I will go into external view, so you guys can kind of see this. Let's see. There we go. Okie doke. As you might guess, this serves a very specific purpose. It's actually it kind of reminds me of Starbug for some reason. Oh, we're saving. But uh, yeah, it's just a it's a little transport. That's really all it is. It just kind of moves things around, and it's very good at it. Well, I'd imagine it would be. I haven't really played with it too much, but so far, not a half bad thing. And I just pressed all the wrong button. No, that's not it. T. That's what I'm after. There we go. So there we go. Yeah, 
pretty simple design for the most part. Uh, I almost like flying this thing better because the dropship is a little bit hard to fly. It's very... it's not very agile, I should say. And this, uh, I intentionally made it a lot lighter a design. Um, I had big thrusters, I ended up making them smaller thrusters to keep the weight down. And it's got two cargo holds, I'm sorry, four cargo holds on it, so it's good for transportation, which is exactly what I made it for. Uh, everything else, I mean, as you can see, like, from the back over here, you can see there's actually not much hull. So it's it's just a light design that serves a very quick and easy purpose. It's It's kind of the shuttle for getting from point A to point B. So, very happy with it. Very simple, but very effective. And really quickly, I have gotten the dropship to move faster and be more agile, and here it is. There's actually been a ton of retrofitting with it. First off, you'll notice the tail's gone. That's probably the most apparent change to it. I've also added a couple more thrusters to it. Uh, these, I don't think these were on there the original time. Um, they're kind of ugly, but they work and serve a purpose. They add some agility. And something that's a little hard to tell, but has been changed quite substantially, is the wings used to be higher up and a little bit broader. And I removed some of the plating on that to speed it up. So anyway, the biggest reason I'm showcasing that for you guys is if you guys are playing this game and you're struggling the same way I did where you're like, oh, I have this really cool ship, but uh, it just it flies really sluggishly and it takes forever to get it up to speed. It's probably either A, you don't have enough thrusters, or B, you've got too many hull plating pieces on it. And you're going to have to find a way to make your design a bit more skipped down. It should run just fine after that, though. This is definitely doing a lot better. Uh, not a cargo ship because it's only got two cargo things as opposed to I'm just going to start calling it the Starbug, which has four. But Starbug's unarmed. The drop ship has quite a bit of armament on it. So, oh, one other possible reason why this might be slow is it's not apparent, but right inside of there is a large reactor. And I kind of need it because I found out uh, with all the stuff that it's got on it, uh, it takes a lot to move this thing. But I think the large reactors are substantially heavier than the light reactors, and I think that's probably adding a tremendous amount of weight to it. But anyway, I will be working on this platform, probably not showing you guys it, because it's going to look a lot like the other one. And then I'm going to move on to some other projects, and I'll be back for that. So I'll see you guys in a bit again. Alright, we're back. And from the exterior, it's probably nothing to be all excited about, but I did add an additional room, I guess, immediately after coming downstairs here. And I think it looks pretty cool. It looks really cool, or more cooler, if you can even say that, from inside than outside. And same thing goes here. Uh, I started building, again, I'm trying to get crew quarters and stuff, but this one just naturally kind of turned into a cargo bay. And so now we have a really, really elaborate cargo bay with its own docking area as well, which will be really helpful because I was trying to figure out how to get cargo from the landing pads over to the actual cargo area. And I was going to use a big old conveyor system and such. And I might still do that, but now at least you can go directly to the cargo bay. And I think I just turned inertials off. Yes, I did. Okay. And so we're going to go ahead and try landing this thing. I've never attempted this yet, so really, really bad things could happen right now. Or we could end up in a cargo bay, which is what I'm hoping for in one piece. I wish you could, like... Oh, wait, I do want inertials off. Er... Having inertials off actually makes a ton of sense all of a sudden. Check that out, huh? Just docked it. Alright, inertial's on, inertial's back off, press C very, very, very slowly, let's, let's go a little more. I think I finally figured out how to fly these things. About time, eh? I think we're gonna go like that, there we go. And... There we go. Not a half bad job if I do say so myself. Alright, so, we just land the Starbug dealio. Am I flying? Oh, I'm still floating. Um, we kind of landed it. Well, we tried. Anyway, at this point, we would easily, if I had these on correctly, I don't think I do. I'll have to reset these. But anyways, we could easily unload the Starbug here. And inside of here, this pretty cool looking cargo bay, if I do say so. Got tons of little cargo containers we can fill up with all sorts of fun things. 
Hopefully a lot of ore. And there's some more right there. I uh, got these little guard things so people don't hurt themselves. Likewise over here. And if we turn around and go upstairs, this takes us back to this area where I've kind of gutted it a bit. But it looks kind of nice. And this is the spot that we started looking at once we cut back in. And as you can see, it's got a pretty cool view of the giant frigate. The We'll call it the stock frigate. And that's pretty neat. I like that. And you can see the main base over there, or the stock base. So yeah, at this point you just go up the stairs, and that would take you back to the main concourse, where we have our operations, and the landing pads. I think the... yeah, this way. And there we have it. So that's not too bad. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It probably could use some work, but, you know, I'm not trying to spend my entire life at this thing. Just some of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll be working on some more stuff, and I'll be showcasing that as well, because we're going to turn this thing into a mighty fortress, and then we are going to explore the universe. Actually, we're not, because it's a space station. I'm going to walk on top of it, and then I'm going to point out how... A space station isn't really designed for, you know, flying around and finding stuff. So I guess we're going to have to build a frigate or something. Something with a little bit of long-range performance. So, oh, and I added missile turrets because, you know, flies. I like swatting flies. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed what you see, and I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully we'll make something really awesome. Have fun.